What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Killy Willy from Poppy Playtime. Let's get started by drawing the mouth in the center of our page. We're gonna start over on the left side. Start with a curve coming down the middle and then back up on the right. Now on the end, I'm just gonna curve this down and then out with a short line. Now we're gonna add two large fangs from these two points. Starting on the left, curve this out and then up. Do the same thing on the right. And I'm just gonna taper this all the way back down towards that line along the side. Let's round out the corners of the mouth. Going all the way around and then back in towards the side of the fangs. Let's go to the inside, curve the mouth going up and in towards the center point. Now let's trace the mouth along the outside. Starting from the center, we have an even space gap going all the way around in behind the fang, towards the bottom and then up. And then do the same thing over on the right. And we'll close off the bottom. Let's add those fangs inside the mouth. Starting from the top in the middle, angle this down and out. Pull it up towards the right. I'm just going to pull this back up towards the top. And then angle this back down. Now from here we're going to move up and draw in the eyes. Let's start with that one eye in the center. Starting from the top, we're going to draw a circle. Going all the way around. And then back up towards the top. Let's move out to the side and draw two medium sized circles. And then line this up on the right side and do the same thing. And we'll move in and draw two smaller circles. Now you want to add a drip coming down from the bottom of each eye. Let's start with the center, starting on the left, curve this in and then down towards the mouth. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go up towards the side, come in and down towards the point. And we'll do the same thing underneath the bottom eye. Now let's go up and add a large curve along the top of the head. We start all the way over on the left side, curve this down, just up above that center eye, and then back up on the right. And then from the center, draw a straight line coming down. Let's add those points of fur along the side of the head. Starting on the left, curve this around, and then bend that in. Let's add another point, going out and then up. Let's bring this back in towards the side of the head. Let's add two more points on either side. We're going to bend these out. Starting on the left, going up and out. Bring this in and then down. Let's add one smaller point, going up and out. Now we'll bring this in and then down towards the outside of the mouth. Now you want to add a trim along the outside of each spike. Starting from this bottom point, it's going to taper this up and then in. Let's move down and do that again. Now from this point, we're just going to curve this up and out. And we'll do that one more time with a smaller curve. Now I'm going to layer the back of the body in behind the head on the left side. So let's start from the inside of this spike. Start by curving this in and then pull that up. Let's add a point coming down and in. I'll add one more point. Let's go over towards the left side of that spike, curve the back going up, and then bending that down, round this out, and then go back out. 
Now we're gonna work our way down toward the top of the shoulder. Starting back here at a point. Coming down. Taper that back in. Put that another point. Point out and then down. Pull that in. And then we'll do that one more time with a smaller point. Now from here we're gonna draw on the left arm. From this line, we're gonna step out, draw a straight angle line coming out towards the elbow. Then we'll add two points across the elbow. Going up and out. And then taper that back in. Draw another curve, going up and out. Now we're gonna work our way down towards the bottom of the arm. Starting from this point, come in, and then we'll bend that down. Round out the bottom of the arm and just pull that in toward the outside claw. Let's add a socket for the first claw with a small half circle. Draw a short line coming in and then add one more curve. And then we're going to bring the arm coming around and then back out towards the elbow. So curve this in and up and then just bend that out. To the top of the forearm, we're going to step down, draw a straight angle line going in towards the armpit. Let's go back down and add in the claws. From the outside of this socket, start with a straight line coming down, curve the claw coming in, and then down towards the tip. Let's go back to the inside of that socket, draw another straight line coming down, and then we'll just taper this line coming down towards the tip. Let's do the same thing along the inside. Coming down, in and then down toward the tip and we'll trace the inside. Let's go to the inside of the arm, add one more claw. Curving down and in, come down and then bend that out and we'll taper this back up towards the top and then trace that curve coming back in towards the arm. Let's separate the tip of each claw, starting on the left this up and down and then towards the thumb. Let's add those three eyes across the forearm. Starting from the outside, we draw a half oval going out and then back in. Go to the inside of the arm, curve in the opposite direction. Go to the center of the arm and draw a full oval. Let's add a small black dot in the center of each eye. Now the arm is going to overlap the body along the top. So from the inside of the arm, let's step down, curve the back, coming in, and then down towards the hip. Now we'll go underneath the mouth on the right side, draw a straight line coming down towards the stomach. And then from here, it's going to curve the stomach going out, come around, and just pull that across towards the left side. Let's go up towards the center of the stomach, start with a point. I'm just going to follow this curve going all the way around and then back in towards the middle. Go back up to the top, curving the opposite direction, coming down and in towards that center point. Now we're going to add some teeth along the sides. Starting from the top, draw a sideways V, leave a gap, and draw that two more times. And then on the right side, we're going to point this in towards the opposite direction. Let's add a fold on the left side of the body, curving around and then in. Now we want to take this arm and flip it over on the right side in behind the body. So let's line up the inside of the arm over on the right, angle this down and out. Now from here, I'm just going to curve the forearm coming in, come down and then out. Let's add in the sockets, starting with that small half circle straight line going out, and then add one more. Let's round up the side of the forearm, going out, up, and then in. Now we're just going to bend this out towards a point. Going up, and taper that back in. Let's add one more point, going up and out. Pull this all the way across, aiming towards the inside of the elbow. 
Now from the inside of this point, draw a straight angle line coming back in behind the head. Let's do the same thing we did on the left and draw on those claws. Start from the outside, start with a straight line coming down, curve this in and then down towards the tip and we'll trace the inside. Let's do that again. Coming down, curve in and then down towards the tip and then trace the inside. And I'll draw in the thumb, starting up here, goes down and in, and down and out, and I'll trace this back, and I'll separate the tip of each claw. Let's go to the center of the forearm and draw that same sized oval, going all the way around, move out to the side and draw a half oval and we'll add those small black dots in the center. Let's go back and add a trim along the outside of the elbow. From this point, we'll step in, curve this around and then out, and then from this point, curve up and out. And now from here, we're gonna draw the inside edge of the legs. From this line, let's step in, draw a straight angle line coming in behind the claw, and then go out, Go over towards the right side and do the same thing, going out towards the same height. Let's round up the inside of the leg, starting back on the left, come in and then down towards the bottom. And we'll work our way out towards the first claw, starting back on the left, come down and then out. From here, curve the claw going up and then down. Now in layer two more in behind. From this point, let's step up, draw a straight line going out, curve up, and then just tuck that in along the top. Let's do that one more time. Stepping back, draw a straight line going out, go up, and then down. Now from the top of the last claw, we're gonna curve the leg coming in, and then just bend that out. Now adding a point along the knee, it's gonna taper this back in behind the claw. Now going back to the hip, we're gonna draw a straight angle line aiming toward the bottom of that point. Coming down in behind the claw, continue in between. Go over towards the right side, and goes down, going all the way across, and there we have it. There's our drawing of Killy Willy. Now let's grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's begin by filling the points of the head with our red. And then around the elbows, each of the fingertips. and then those points underneath each eye, and then around the mouth. We'll also fill that area in the center of the stomach, working our way around those teeth. Now with our pale gray, we'll fill the inside of the teeth, and the tops of each claw, and then the claws on the feet. Now we use a dark gray to fill in the rest of the body. We're going to weigh it around those eyes. And then from the head, we'll work our way around the body.
I can use a dark gray to add some shadows across the body. And there we have it. That's how we draw and color Killy Willy from Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.